heavy duty selfie stick, or a lightweight tripod. Let's take a look. And welcome to the Gadget Talk channel, where we do reviews and how-tos on a variety of gadgets that catch my eye. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. In this video, we'll be going back to the roots of the channel, that is, photo and video accessories. In this case, we'll be looking at a lightweight 62-inch tall tripod that easily doubles as a medium to heavy-duty selfie stick. It's marketed on Amazon by Camasafe. I need to let you know that the Camasafe folks provided this handy accessory for the review, but have no say in the review itself. I have several varieties of small tripods. What's neat about this one is its small footprint and tall extension. That means you can use this device in your studio or wherever you shoot your videos without taking up a bunch of floor space. The fairly narrow stand makes it easy to mount your phone, an action camera, mirrorless camera, or even a small handycam style camera and place it exactly where you want it. Are you meeting friends for a dinner out? This small tripod can easily fit beside you to record the event without the camera shake and movements you get when trying to capture the action handheld. It would also be easy to mount a small LED or RGB light to add some fill light or some creative color to your shot. I recently did a review on one of those that I'll link in the end card. With the extensions retracted, it's easy to use the selfie stick tripod as a selfie stick. It's sturdy enough for even larger cameras with lights and external microphones. With one or two sections extended, you can capture a variety of creative viewpoints, either reaching up or out. The included remote allows you to take photos or start recording without touching your camera. The top of the selfie stick tripod is an adjustable head with a quarter 20 screw where you can attach the included phone clamp or other quarter 20 mountable device. At about 18 ounces, it's bulky enough to get a good grip on while not being so heavy as your arm gets tired holding it. Let's take a quick look at what you'll get. So here's what you get when your lightweight tripod and medium weight selfie stick arrives at your house. First is the selfie stick itself. We'll take a look at that in more detail in just a minute. Plus you get a um, phone clamp that expands here. It'll hold uh, quite a few different sizes of phones. It has a quarter 20 socket on the bottom that'll fit on the top of the uh, selfie stick itself. And then it gets a little Bluetooth remote that will trigger the shutter depending upon the mode that your uh, recording device is in your phone. Uh, either take a snapshot or a uh, uh, start the video running. So those are the simply the parts that you're going to get. Let's take a look at the selfie stick itself with a little more detail. First, when you hold the selfie stick, it as I said in the intro, it's about 18 ounces. It's not very heavy and because it's longer than a lot of selfie sticks you're going to be able to get a nice view of yourself or over your shoulder if you're trying to explain something where where you are. And then with the legs that you can release with a little tightening screw you get this really nice tripod effect that's only you know less than a foot across that will give you some good stability uh, while allowing you to extend this up to its full 62 inch uh, range. And we'll take this outside to get a broader shot here in just a minute uh, so that you have a better sense of what that is. Now one of the things I really like about this selfie stick is that the extensions clamp down with these little fold over clamp type uh, locking devices and so they're nice and secure. They don't aren't just, um, you know, 
uh, different sized or growing sized uh, uh, tubes that just use friction or, or twist locks. You can clamp them down very easily. And then of course you can extend as many of these as you want to get the reach and the effect that you're looking for. The next thing here on the, is the, on the top and that's the, uh, the head of the selfie stick. Here is the, um, the phone mount. And it just screws on there. The screws also fit right here on this so you can spin it tight um, using the dial underneath it so if so you can get it positioned exactly where you want it and then tighten the screw from underneath if you need to. Uh, and then because this um, articulates here, if you undo this, you can bring this down to basically whatever angle you want. The other thing is that with a quarter twenty screw on the end of this thing right here, you can also use it, for example, with a little light. So you could use this as a light stand to provide some fill light or even a key light using a light. This happens to be another CamaSafe product, a little RGB light that you could mount easily on this. Or if you have um, an action camera with a quarter 20 plug on the bottom, like this little Acaso does, you can screw that on as well. And you can uh, mount your action camera to get the recording that you want to use here uh, and use the extensions along here to raise it up over a crowd or to reach out and um, get a creative shot down over the edge of a bridge or of a canyon that you wouldn't want to get that far and lean over. You can do that with the selfie stick at its full extension. So there you have it. There's nothing too much to it. Uh, it's got a good build quality um, and good uh, components here. Let's take it outside and you can get a view of what this thing looks like when you can get the whole thing in our camera frame. Okay, so here we are outside with the with the selfie stick, and I've got a little Acaso action camera uh, that you saw earlier here on the head. And you notice that I've got it tilted a little bit, and so as I do my uh, recording, I can have my arm out here and uh, point the camera at myself and and uh, talk to it and, and have plenty of uh, room around with a, the fairly wide angle that a uh, action camera has. But I can also then extend these out and change the head of the, the selfie stick. And now I can have a much different view. I've got the thing, uh, you know, three uh, extensions out, the main one and then plus two others. And uh, I can have that out here. Uh, I'll turn the other way since the sun is starting to come up and you can see that I can uh, get it po pointed at myself. The other thing I can do is uh, straighten the head and go high with it. Let's show you what I mean by that. And so now with the camera, you know, pretty much straight up and down, it's got a bit of an angle to it. I can take it and I can put it up and I can get over a crowd and I can get a picture of what's going on. Um, I'm kind of going over the wall on the side of my home. I'm not advocating snooping, but uh, you know, you can get it over an obstacle, uh, you can get it over a crowd, and you can see uh, by setting it out, you could also get it over the edge uh, of a precipice of some kind if you wanted to get an interesting view. And so the, um, the selfie stick gives a lot of flexibility as a selfie stick. Now let's take it and put it up as a tripod. So here you see it at its full extension. Uh, all 62 inches of it. The camera's mounted on top and the tripod legs are out and so uh, you could use this for a nice group shot, uh, any other still kind of photo. Uh, it's not going to work well in a big wind or anything but uh, for a lightweight tripod it'll pack up tight and uh, find it easily to get into your uh, backpack or camera bag and give you a lot of flexibility as you use it on your photography day out. 
The 62-inch selfie stick tripod is a well-built accessory that can fill several needs and would make a good addition to your camera's kit bag. I really like the clamp system on the extensions and the legs extend enough to provide stability for a quick group shot. The quarter 20 mounting screw on the top gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of what you mount to the system. If you're like me, you'll find a lot of uses for this handy accessory. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button below the video and subscribe to the Gadget Talk channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching.